To celebrate Ed Sheeran's second album, we're making guitar cookies out of what else? Gingerbread! On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. Ever since the English singer-songwriter hit the music scene, it's been a whirlwind of success. From his number one debut single, A-Team, to touring with best friend, Taylor Swift, or would love to be the third best friend, and being nominated for Best New Artist at the 2014 Grammy Awards, we have been anxiously anticipating the release of his second album. And to celebrate our favorite UK ginger, we couldn't think of a better way than to make gingerbread guitar cookies. To make the dough, we're gonna start by creaming together our room temperature butter with our brown sugar, molasses, and egg. We're just gonna cream this together on medium speed. That's coming together really nicely. Now I'm gonna add our dry ingredients. To our flour, I'm just gonna add our baking soda, ginger, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, and a little salt. I really love these spices. This is what gives gingerbread that spicy bite. Now I'm gonna gradually add our flour mixture a little bit at a time. Great, this looks awesome. Now I'm gonna wrap it up in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about three hours and let it firm up. Now that our cookie dough has firmed up in the fridge, I'm gonna roll it out into a floured surface until it's about a quarter inch thick. That looks good. Now it's time to cut the cookies out with our little guitar cutter. I got this at my local bake shop, pretty easy to find. And just as close to the edge as possible, start cutting out your guitars. Oh my goodness, these guitar cookies look so good. Did you know that in April 2010, Ed bought a ticket to LA, didn't know anyone, and while he was playing an open mic night, he was spotted at the foxhole by Jamie Foxx. And Jamie Foxx was so impressed with the Brit that he let him use his in-home recording studio, plus stay with him. Once we have a sheet of cookies ready, we're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for about 16 minutes. I'm gonna show you how to make a simple cookie icing. It's really easy. You're just gonna mix one cup of confectioner sugar with two teaspoons of milk, two teaspoons of light corn syrup, and a little bit of vanilla. Now if you want to tint your frosting, you can at this point just by adding a couple drops of food coloring and then just stir it up, being sure to get all those lumps out. At this point you can do one of two things. Dip the cookies into the frosting just like that and let them dry or you can really make them come alive by putting the icing into a pastry bag. Now I have fitted this pastry bag with a little round tip and I'm just gonna fill it with the icing. And if you don't have someone at home to help you, a really great tip is to put the icing into a mason jar and the bag will stay upright for you. Now we're ready to frost. I'm gonna make these look like acoustic guitars. So using your frosting, you're just gonna outline the guitar, paying attention to the curves in the cookie. And then we're gonna add the circle and a line at the end for the bridge. And then we're gonna drag our guitar strings from the head all the way down to the bridge. You want two of them. And then three dots on each for the tuners. These cookies are so adorable. Just like Ed, they're sweet and cute. We have an acoustic guitar, and then a little electric guitar over here. Mm, I can't wait to eat one. Mm. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below what you'd like to see me make in sugar form. And don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time.